Agus Wade and welcome everyone to Agus Wade back to garden with me, Mitchell Junus Wade. For the time being, I'm using my old camera, my very small old time camera, to actually do this video. So if you find that the quality is a bit different, please forgive me. Of course, this has been a long requested video to do a tour of the garden, but I delayed and Hurricane Maria came and then the garden was destroyed but now it's coming green again so I'm going to give you a little tour of the backyard garden okay so with the tour I will start with an overview of the backyard garden so right here I decided to plant bananas on that side before I only had bananas in the back of the yard but I decided I'm gonna plant some there you'll see them when we go down one coconut tree alone survives after Hurricane Maria the other one you'll see on the next side where it died I've got turmeric growing in the container right here. This is a planting tree which I had grown quite a while back. But um, the hurricane threw down the bigger one, so now that's the new suckers growing up. I have to plant cucumbers. I'm actually going to buy some seeds today. So I have to plant some cucumbers in there. I have not used my topsy turvy. I'm going to use it pretty soon. I just need to get some very good quality high um, um, tomatoes and then I will try it in my topsy turvy. This is one of my planters, it was right there when the rusty came in, when it hit the wall, it didn't actually come in the yard, but when it hit the wall, the water, f when it hit the wall, the water went in the air and it fell, like the water, the wave fell somewhere in there and it took my planter from here and sent it on this one. So I just cleared out the soil and I put it all over my garden. So I just need to find somewhere right now to put this planter. And uh, my cherry right here, it's actually flowering and you will see some cherries on it. I've got some tomatoes growing in there. I've also got tomatoes right there in the planter stand. My greenhouse was partially destroyed. You will see closer where some of the connectors were broken, so I have to try to replace that. I've got some pumpkin growing wild behind there. Of course, not forgetting the sour soap and the guava, my golden apple tree right here, my bananas, and um, so let's go right in the back of the garden to take a tour. Of course, we're not gonna forget festival is part of the backyard garden. Festival, say hello. Say hello, festival. <laughs> no? <laughs> festival, say hello. Okay, and also while I'm here, I have to plan this. That's my granny speaking in the background. I don't want to actually transplant it in the ground because, as you know, as I told you before, that the backyard garden and the property is for sale. So I don't want to plant it in the ground and lose it. So I have it in the pot still, hoping that the house will sell pretty soon. And would you look at that? What is that? Effa? Effa? No way! It looked like my mom. Ma who planned that? Oh, you planted Christophe in the, in the thing? Yes! What? I did not know that! Who planted it? You, you want to be in the video? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, my granny don't want to be in the video, but she planted those. I did not know that. Here's another one. Two of them. What? She, she planned them in my picture. What? This is an interesting tour. This is so. I wish you could see my facial expression right now. That is such a huge surprise. I will get back to that. I will talk to her more about it. But these are these are crystal fins. She planted the crystal fins, as you can see right there. Oh, the camera needs to focus. These are crystal fins right there. So she she planted it and it's doing pretty well. So of course, let's get to the garden tour before the battery dies. And my other camcorder is very low, my battery is very low, so that's why I could not use it because I have to do another video with it. So that is some, um, I got two tamarind trees right there. These are the normal bitter or sour tamarind. I've got two of them in a pot. Again, I am not sure where to plant them, so I just have them growing in there. This is a tomato I've got right there, along with a guava plant. I got a guava plant for when we sell a property, so I could have a plant to go with. It's in a pot right now. And this tomato is growing very nicely there. I think I saw some tomatoes on there. Forgive me if my camera is not focusing. So, here we go. And this right now, I've got three sorts of plants. I wish I could just give it to somebody. But again, now I have to hold it because as we have the property for sale, wherever we're going to live or move to, um, I will need some plants to take to the backyard garden. Of course, let me just take this out so you could see my pomegranate plants doing pretty well in there. Pretty well. So as you can see, this is... So let me just show you the sour sap by themselves. There they are. Three of them. And I want the pomegranate to get all the attention there. So this is my pomegranate right here. 
very beautiful growing and what I notice also because I have the source of growing among it or not among it but it growing between the source of plants in the container that's allowing it to grow out more and to send out more leaves and so on and so forth so I'd like to encourage you of course don't forget to try growing out your pomegranate in a container maybe I'll do a video with more details on that but I'm putting the source of right back there to allow the plant to feel the need to grow out more so it's important that you also do that. If you have a potted plant and it's very it's very difficult to grow, it's not growing as fast as you want it to, just put other plants with it so that it could feel like it have a competition and start to actually grow out. Now right here I have some ginger plants growing in there. Only three look like they survive, but I had some one I had one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. So I think only three out of the six survive. Here are some peppers growing right there. I do have to transplant them. I've got a root crop. I'm not quite sure if that's from compost, but I don't remember planting any root crop in there. But that's a root crop. I think that's yam or potatoes. I think sweet potato. Not quite sure. I didn't plant it myself. If you remember, I was growing some peppers in there. I had to remove them, and here are the peppers. I just plant them in the ground because they were dying, but look like they're catching back up again. I just plant them in the ground. So, and here. I've got some random plants. This is what we use to make tea. Ah, uh, the actual name Elsa. When my granny comes, I'll ask her for the actual name. It's a, a, a quail name. And I've got some strawberry plants growing right there. But they're just there for them to make suckers for me so that I can give some plants away and do some new plants. And of course, I had a big one. That same plant, not this. These are weeds. These are weeds. These are weeds. <laughs> okay. I had the same plant. This I had a massive one in there. Elfa, what's the name of that plant? Huh? What's the name of that plant? You really like your girlfriend. No, I but you know the name, no? Come on. Hmm? Come and smell it. You'll you'll know it from the smell. I planted it but I don't know the quail name. So my granny told me, right, it's Sime Kotwa. Yes. Smells Cime You don't have to be in the video, granny? Huh? You don't have to be in the video? You don't want to come in the video? Make your body look like that. I don't know where you are. My granny don't have in the video. No, 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 no. So I've got a lot of, I've got a lot here. The tree was big and all the seeds fell on the ground and some fell in there. And of course, I've got my banana. After Maria, all the banana trees, they basically died. So all these plants, they are growing together at the same time. I have, I'll possibly get fruits from them somewhere in January, I mean in January, June. I might get some banana in June, if it's earlier, thank God, but I might get some in June. Of course, also, I've got my pineapple growing in containers right there. If you remember, I grew one, huh? Meguina, too. Meguina? Look, Meguina. Where? Look it. This? Uh -huh. I did it already, pomegranate. She's calling oh. it pomegranate, yeah. So, um, oh, here's the tree, the Simekotwa tree. I think that was the original tree and I transplanted it in the ground. As you can see, it's, it don't have a lot of leaves, but it have a lot of seeds. This is, this is, I don't know if you can see it. Let me just get for you to see. Sorry if you can't see it too well. I miss my old camera, but the seeds are on there. If you can see it in my hand, these are the seeds. And then they eventually fall and them to take over that area. I've got pineapples, as I was saying. This is the pineapple. If you remember, I had a pineapple video and this is the first one. When I removed the, 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 the pineapple and the fruit, and this is the one I planted, here it is, the biggest of course, and I got some more pineapples when it was pineapple season, I planted them in pots, so I'm waiting for them to all send fruit. I've got one there, one here of course, and if you notice too, I'm growing them in very sandy soil, not, maybe about, with the entire container, maybe about 3 inches is actual soil from the back of the garden, then the rest is sandy soil. Um, let me just show you right now, of course, I've got the cucumbers right here. These are my cucumbers. Um, what of the thing, one of the things I'm amazed at is that it sent out cucumbers already, the actual fruits. Here, you can see the actual cucumber fruits, but there are no male cucumbers. So I'm just being patient till it sends out some male. Maybe by tomorrow morning, this one might right here, might open up into a male. Again, forgive me if my camera is not focusing. This is my old camera. Um, right, so it is possible to grow cucumbers in a very, very shallow space. This maybe is about three to four inches deep and it's growing nicely, of course. Hello, Mr. Lizard, how are you? First of all, say hello again. 
No? <laughs> this one is good. Okay, right. So, I put this net right, fence in right here so it could crawl up. Um, but of course, one of the connectors broke right here. So, if it was not broken, I would have allowed put some strings on there for the plants. But I had to tie the, the fence into this part because this connector right there broke. This one also broke. So, I needed to find a way to replace these four connectors. Well, not four, four way. These two four way connectors, of course. And all of this right here, this is the most damaged area right there of the greenhouse. All this right here, I need to find a way to replace all of that. 